So, for another exercise that can really help us to lighten up if we've been squeezing those chords too hard, is to use the sound mu. This sound is really going to help us engage the CT, or the nerdy word for it, the cricothyroid muscles, which are responsible for head voice. Now, for this one, you should try to add a little bit of cry at the start of each mu. We're going to do this one on a scale that moves in diatonic thirds, ascending and descending. So all together, it should sound like this. Don't forget to add cry. And descending. a little bit of that cry is going to really encourage the chord closure but in a much lighter and more balanced way so therefore it's great if you've really been squeezing those chords it's a great way of reminding the voice how to balance itself back out the more cry you can apply to this exercise the more you're going to engage those CT muscles to really help you build strength in head voice as this is a register a lot of people struggle with with it being quite weak and small Give it your best shot. Don't forget to add a little bit of cry to this one. It's really going to help release that tension. Try this next one on your own. Keep working with that cry. Keep working hard. Don't forget to keep using that cry. Get those intervals as accurate as possible.
You're doing really well. Keep going. Don't forget to keep moving those lips. Remember to check that you're taking nice deep breaths before each one. And we've made it to the last one. Amazing job. 